Hello and welcome to the show. Later we'll be joined by the very lovely Becky James who's going to be showing us some techniques uh, to die cut felt and fabric using the X-Cut Express machine. But first, on that same vein, I wanted to show you some new dies from the X-Cut range as well. Um, they're some alphabet dies and all these are also available in numbers. And as you can see, they're a really great chunky size that would be great for a focal point on a card. And as you can see, there's also these coordinating clear stamps that once you've die cut your, your letter or your number, you can then stamp your letter straight over the top for a really carnival feel. And in fact, the name of the, the range is Carnival. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to look out for these in a stockist nearby you very soon. Hi Becky, welcome along. Thank you for joining us today. It's great to be here. Good, good. Now, I can tell we're going to do something with the Express, but what are we going to get up to? Well, we're actually going to be die cutting some felt and fabric today. Fantastic. And we're going to just be making this little simple but festive brooch with the little snowflake die cut in the centre. So that's going to be something really easy and a great way to introduce yourself to cutting different media Brilliant. with the Express. So I'm going to take that off your hands. Okay, then there you go. That might just suit what I'm wearing. <laughs> right, so let's get started then. So we're going to make up our sandwich and I'm going to start with the base plate. And then over here I've got some a couple of dies that I'm going to cut with the felt. Now I've got a simple die mm -hmm. here and we've put the die with the ridge face upwards and the fabric over the top. Lovely. But here I've got, this is one of my favourite little dies out of um, the Build a Bauble yes. die set, which is, a, it's a really great set and it's a really useful little set. got lots of use out of that, haven't, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, um, absolutely. Even not just to do with making the baubles, yeah. we use it for all sorts of things. Absolutely, it's a great little embellishment on a festive project. Now we're going to use the metal shim and this comes with a machine as well, mm -hmm. so you get all of the bits that you need. So we're going to put metal shim on the top and then the cutting, the standard cutting plate Lovely. as well. And then what we need to do is move our dial around on the top and we're just going to set it to about five on here Fantastic. for this. And then we're just going to roll it backwards and forwards and we're going to do that a couple of times. So just Because with felt and fabric there's often little fibres yeah. aren't there so you might not catch every little no, bit the first time it. so it's good to go back and forth. Absolutely. And so of course we've got Brilliant. a lovely leaf here which I'm going to put with my bits free afterwards and then we also get a really nicely die cut. Beautiful. Snowflake Look as well. Look at that, it's amazing. So you can just see all that detail come out even on something like that. That's incredible isn't it? So the next thing we're going to do is actually do some fabric and this is one of our fat quarters. This is the, um, this is the festives range that we're Lovely. using here in the capsule. So again same thing, dye, then your fabric. Lovely. Put your metal plate on and your cutting plate and then this time we're going to adjust the roller a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to turn it to about six on okay. this one. And then we're just going to roll that through again. Wow, and check that out. That's amazing. How, how fab That's so clean. Like, this is going to be great for applique quilting, that Definitely. sort of thing, isn't it? In so, fact, we've got some really, uh, x has got some amazing hexagon dies, yes. which I really yeah. want to have a go at trying some hexagon yeah. um, quilting as well. That'd yeah. be really cool. Well, I've, I've got a couple of different sort of levels of um, size in, in the brooch. So there's, the, see, the, yeah. there's the little swirly scallop circles and then there's the larger circle on the back. But what I've tried to do is on the top layer of each one, there's three of each die cut and I've tried to give it a little bit of a frill on the top I one, see. so I'm going to show yeah. you how to do Perfect. that now. It's made a donut, first exactly. of all. Exactly, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what we've done. So, um, and that's basically taking the smallest circle die mm -hmm. and popping that in the centre and die cutting Perfect. it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a very basic and rough running stitch around the And I guess that's all going to be hidden, isn't it? So yeah. if, you're, if you're a bit of an untidy stitcher yeah. like me... It really doesn't um, matter. It doesn't really matter, does no. it? No. Just, if you can, try and keep it roughly equidistant around the, right. the hole in the centre. I'm going to sort of pull that round so that you just get a little bit of the, I see. the frill like that. And then just tie it, finish off with a little knotty kind of stitch. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Glad there's nothing too technical there. That's good. <laughs> uh, well, this is the sort of thing, though, that would make great little gifts and things like that, you know. Yeah, definitely. I can think of all sorts of people who'd love one of these. Yeah. Not, not just me, not clearly. Just you. No, there you go, you see. So you can see, you get that lovely sort of little frilly uh, effect. And I've done that with the top one of the scallop grey circles yeah. as well. So we're going to pop that to one side. 
And then uh, we're going to make the centerpiece. Now, the centerpiece is basically made from three bits. That's one of the small circles cut out of that. Oh, yeah. And I've put that on there really actually to give me a bit of strength when I'm sewing through onto this. Okay. But it, it adds a nice effect as well because it makes everything stand out. Um, it's beautiful. Against the silver dotted uh, fabric. We're going to pop that on there and that one on there. And then all we're going to do, again, just sew through. And that really is, when we've done this and sewn this together, that's really all the sewing oh, that you need, to do, you need to do. I mean, I'm going to stick everything together with a glue gun. If you want to, you can sew it oh, all together. Oh, you could together. stitch all the way through all yeah, the layers. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. Brilliant. There's the centerpiece. Good, good. So I'll just carry on with this one here and we'll put everything together. So again, really, really simple. I've actually got everything layered up in... Uh, in order. I've also got one of these beautiful, actually let's show you this to the camera, one of these beautiful um, Christmas in the Country large bows. I love these bows, they are just gorgeous. And I've picked this one because it's got the bluey colour of the oh, felt. Oh it has, it's got all the colours. As well as the red and, and that sort of thing, so it works very nicely. So I'm going to start off really just by sticking the layers together, so just get a circle and pop it on top like that and just hit hold it down if you want to just get a, a pencil or um, mm -hmm. or a pair of tweezers or something just hold it in place whilst it sets and I'm just putting a little bit around the outside of the the frill bit so we'll just pop that yeah down. it really adds and the dimension see, doesn't it yeah. yeah and it brings that top layer in a little bit as well yeah. so you've got a tiered effect you can see effect. the layering yeah tiered beautiful effect. now then I've got two leaves here and I'm just going to layer those up towards the side so perfect right there we go and then there's an again another one. Okay, another, with the, another donut. Yeah, another donut. There we go. Stick that on there. And pop that in the centre. Beautiful. Too. It's just it is so simple. It just goes to show that crafting doesn't have to be a, anything complicated. No, and it looks like a sort of like you've handcrafted it for you know for hours. Like you've spent hours stitching away. But yeah. look how quick it's been. Mm -hmm. I guess Indeed. that's the advantage of die cutting as well. That yeah. if you can knock out all those yeah. sort of bits and pieces that you need almost in one go, yeah. particularly with the A4 plates. Mm. And then it's yeah. just a little bit of assembly, yeah. so it's perfect. Absolutely. And then I've just got here um, a brooch back, which you can get from General Crafters. So. Perfect. Oh, no, we'll do it the right way around. We'll put the glue <laughs> on there and we'll just sink that into there. But again, you can stitch those on if you want to. Yeah, of course. If you haven't, I just like to put a bit of glue on the back so it's sealed right the way through with glue. That's not going anywhere, is it? No, it's not going anywhere. And there you go, there's your little brooch. Fantastic. If you've been inspired by Becky's soft craft project, um, we'd really love to see what you, you might come up with. Uh, do send us an email to tv at docrafts.com and show us your projects. And also let us know what you think of the X-Cut Express machine. We'd really love to hear your feedback. Um, don't forget, you can find all the instructions for making Becky's brooch at uh, docrafts.com. So do pop along and have a little look in case you've missed anything in this episode. And until next time, happy crafting.